This episode could be potentially pretty insane for me. I have a chance at winning a $150,000 helicopter for my next race. I have a 1 in 26 chance, which are pretty good odds, to take home the helicopter. My buddy uh, Cletus McFarlane, he calls me out in front of everyone. He determined the race results first to last. But let me show you exactly what he says. This is my prediction of the finishing order of the 2024 Freedom 5 Honey. Oh man. I think it's gonna be Brad DeBerdy, number one. I think he's been practicing on the simulator. Yeah, I think so too. I think, he, I think Brad DeBerdy is gonna take home the helicopter. Oh. First of all, Garrett, for you saying that, man, thank you. That that means so much. I've raced a lot of his races. It's uh, one of the most fun race series I've ever done. We're racing legends this race. Travis Pastrana's in it, Tanner Faust, BJ Baldwin. These are guys I've looked up to since I've been a little kid. And the, the fact that I get a race with them is pretty awesome. Garrett is putting on these events that, that have these awesome prizes, awesome people there. And the turnout is unbelievable. And he gives away some crazy prizes. And, and he doesn't even need to just because the atmosphere is so much fun. So anyway, let me throw in some laps on the sim. Let's get straight to Florida at the Freedom 500. And let me show you our car. Welcome, everyone, once again to the Freedom Factory. We are live in beautiful Bradenton, Florida, where we are set and ready to go for the fifth annual Freedom 500. We are just moments away from getting qualifying underway for tonight's 100-lap Freedom 500 feature event. This will be a group-style qualifying where you will see at least five cars on the racetrack at a time. They will get three laps around the speedway. The fastest of those three laps will be their time of record that will go towards their qualifying. You see that helicopter park back there in the middle of the infield there? That's your grand prize here tonight. And uh, they also discussed back in the driver's meet, not a ton of guys back there have necessarily have their helicopter's license. So how right. are you going to get that thing out of here? Right, but if you don't want to take the helicopter... The winner can take a $100,000 prize walk away. Now that would be tempting. We've got a little bit of qualifying to do, as you see. Tell you what, these guys have been working hard to get these cars looking good. They're not going to look this good after 100 laps here tonight. They're going to have some very, very tough uh, tough battles out here on the track, and we'll see what they do. How about Brad DeBerdy? Brad DeBerdy's in this group. That's another driver that a lot of people have uh, kind of circled and thought, you know, this is a guy that we definitely think can go out and win this race here tonight. Brad might be having some issues with that 70 car. It looks like it is not wanting to, uh, not wanting to cooperate for him. That car just straight up, it ain't running. Uh, he would get it fired up and get it rolling, and then something would, uh, something would die on it. They're going to check to see if maybe it's a battery issue uh, but it looks like Brad may have to jump into uh, we'll see if it, they can't make a quick fix out of it or Brad might actually have to uh, jump into another car here for qualifying or you think uh, you think they tried to unplug it and plug it back in see if that helped well I mean we've got a couple of those plugs in and around the in and around the grounds now you know them yep. smart vehicles. it will happen yeah they got Brad fired and rolling again here let's let's see if that thing's gonna stay on he's gonna probably try to just keep that thing as wound up as he can in case it, in case it shuts off again we'll get you through the rest of the field here and uh, you know, you mentioned Cletus in the top 10. Well, if this thing's going to keep running, uh, Cletus' top uh, top 10 starting spot might be in jeopardy. We might be might be talking about that inversion thing again here. We'll, we'll see what they decide to do. But first lap by, I mean, DeBerti, that's what you would call kind of his warm-up lap. And that was 17th quick, 20.392. He's got to pick up uh, about four tenths. Uh, if he wants to try to break into that 19-second bracket. That's a man. good line coming in on this last one. And there he goes up to P7, 19.877 for Brad DeBerti. And there you see our qualifying grid there as uh, it's going to be the 88, actually, J.H. Diesel doing a great job out there. We'll take a look at our – we were working our way up through the top 15 qualifiers. Qualified seventh. We're going to go out, give her all we got, and uh, and see what, see what happens, really. The spark shower off the back of the Summit Racing Equipment Pace Truck. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to go racing for 100 laps around the Freedom Factory. This event, which started five years ago, has grown into what you see here today, a sold-out crowd and viewers from around the world. Everyone tuning in to the great American spectacle that is the Freedom 500 presented by Summit Racing Equipment. The fans come to their feet. 26 
NOS-powered Crown Victorias ready to go for 100 laps. The green flag is out, and we are underway. Here we go! Down they go into turns one and two for the first time, and it's J.H. Diesel out in front as the sun sets off in the distance. First three cars able to get single file. It's Travis Pastrana on the outside of the number 34 of Tanner Faust. That's the battle for fourth. Working on the inside of Travis Pastrana, that's for fourth. You see the top three cars up in front of Brad as Brad tries to make the move on to the 199 of Pastrana. Again, here's now here's a good view here from Cletus. You see what the drivers you see, you're able to kind of move around a little bit. You don't necessarily have to just stick to one groove and you can kind of use multiple lanes. And there you see using all different types of lanes here. It's a pretty wide racetrack here. They're realistically about two, two and a half grooves that you can access and use in the corners here uh, to some success. But down the straightaways, you can easily get three or four wide. There's plenty of room down these straightaways. And these straightaways have some banking to them as well. They're banked about five, five, six degrees. It's about half the banking you'll have in the corners. So you 12 can really degree in the corner. Yep. And the four car is oh. going around right in front of Zach Walker. And the yellow flag is going to come out. You've got over 55 laps to go in this race. Set back and then Save your car. You got and Travis. Then run it hard the last 20. Giving them the one to go signal. It'll be J.H. Diesel and Adam LZ up on the front row ahead of Derek from Vice Grip Garage. And you're going to have Brad DeBerti there on the outside of row number two ahead of Travis Pastrana and Brent from PFI Speed. J.H. Diesel lead him to the restart zone, and we're green with 54 to go in the Freedom 500 presented by Summit Racing Equipment. What a what a, what an interesting interesting turn of events. You've got Cletus and Tanner Faust. Well, a three wide battle, and oh. we've got Carnage on the back straightaway. We are beating it back three wide, and we're still wrecking. We're sideways. We're going to stay green. Still battling on as the yellow comes out. Brad DeBerti and the 70 looks like he may have got the worst of that. That front bumper is all tore up, and that right front is broke. Unbelievable turn of events there. You saw they went three wide down through turns one and two and just simply ran out of real estate coming out of turn number two. Nowhere to go for several cars up there at the front of the field, and I mentioned it. Check the replay here from our heat wave, and there you see Brad DeBerti up into the outside wall, making contact with Adam LZ, and then just trying to get down to the bottom of the track. What a mess. So two cars getting worked on down here in the pits. Three cars getting worked on down here in the pits. We're pulling the whole front end off of DeBerti's car. Kind of my fault. Kind of not. I uh, I went three wide and I should have just probably waited, but I don't think Adam seen me and uh, I just got shipped right into the wall, busted the whole front of my car. I'm just sick right now. Sick. Most expensive prize I could have ever won. I had the car to win. I should have just been maybe a little more patient. Anyway, I can't let it uh, ruin my night. We still got a lot of fun ahead of us. Gosh dang it. And here goes J.H. Diesel, the driver that Cletus picked to finish last in this race. Gonna try to go wire to wire. What a dominant performance. J.H. Diesel. Out of turn number four, J.H. That's who wow. your Freedom 500 winner is J.H. Diesel. Wire to wire dominant. Good job, J.H. You deserved every every laugh of that, dude. Congrats. Holy cow. Dad, look at this. Oh, God. That's the end result. Oh, my gosh. That's a full-on pinch. Wow. Camper gang, baby. I thought maybe you just got a flat tire. Gosh. Dad, what a bummer. Hey, 
We still, I mean, come on. I mean, this does suck. But you gotta admit, that was unbelievably that, fun. That was so much fun. I'm stoked JH got the heli. Uh, Garrett, thank you so much for allowing us yeah. to even be a part of this and the whole team. This is the most fun event I've ever been to. We could have had the heli it's sitting right there, man. But that was good. this is what happens. Dang it. So we're going to end this off with Cleet doing a little burnout.